This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book. And will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book A. He's carrying some packages. B. He's putting on a hat. C. He's pushing a cart. D. He's washing some windows. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. She's hanging up a sign. B. She's painting a wall. C. She's using some office equipment. D. She's emptying a recycling bin. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. A customer is placing a tray in a sink. B. A customer is handing money to a cashier. C. A cashier is holding an item. D. A cashier is stacking some cups. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A railing is being repaired. B. A boat is moving toward a bridge. C. One of the men is unloading a truck. D. One of the men is opening a door. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A passenger is exiting a vehicle. B. A tree branch is lying on the ground. C. Some traffic lights are being installed. D. Some bicycles are parked near a road. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A beverage is being poured into a glass. B. Some flowers are being arranged in a vase. C. A woman is folding a napkin. D. A woman is wiping off a table. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Could I borrow your pen? A. 
No, I've never been there. B. Some folders. C. Of course. Number 8. What's the price of this item? A. 5 euros. B. At around 8 p.m. C. Yes, it does. Number 9. When do you usually take your lunch break? A. With someone from my department. B. Just a sandwich. C. Sometime after 11.30. Number 10. You got the concert tickets for Saturday, right? A. It was a local band. B. No, they're actually for Sunday. C. I'll write it this afternoon. Number 11. How did you hear about our zoo tour? A. That's what I heard, too. B. A variety of wild animals. C. A friend recommended it. Number 12. What is required to get a store refund? A. I saw them last week. B. You just need your receipt. C. The orientation event was fun. Number 13. Why is construction on the new apartments delayed? A. Yes, I would. B. No, I don't have the instructions. C. Because of the bad weather. Number 14. How do I open a new account? A. They're hiring more accountants. B. Yes, the bank is open. C. Let me get you the paperwork. Number 15. Have you installed the new computer software yet? A. I did that this morning. B. It's a monthly payment plan. C. Some new keyboards. Number 16. You haven't seen my scarf, have you? A. I met him yesterday. B. Alicia might know where it is. C. I love that film. Number 17. Who was the spokesperson at the press conference today? A. It was an interesting article. B. The company president. C. About a new product. Number 18. How much do you think the banquet tables will cost? A. Yes, that sounds right. B. Over by the chairs. C. I'll check with the supplier. Number 19. Where can I find the corporate handbook? A. They found a parking spot near us. B. We shook hands at the reception. C. You can download it from our website. Number 20. Would you like to pay in cash or with a credit card? A. 400. B. Which credit cards do you accept? C. I thought so too. Number 21. When will the prototype be ready for production? A. No, he wrote it down. B. Our Singapore factory. C. Later this month. Number 22. It looks like the restaurant didn't deliver my salad. A. Those were delicious. B. There are napkins in the kitchen. C. 
I'll call the restaurant manager. Number 23. Why don't we have a quick meeting at 4? A. My client arrives at 3 45. B. It didn't last very long. C. To launch a new product. Number 24. Do you think we could modify the project timeline? A. At the entrance to the building. B. The flight departs from Terminal 6. C. We'll need approval from the director. Number 25. Can I leave a message for Mr. Oyama? A. He should be back in his office soon. B. The main conference room. C. There's a vegetarian option. Number 26. Doesn't this elevator go to the 20th floor? A. The carpet cleaner. B. No. It stops at the 10th. C. There are some more in the closet. Number 27. Who wants to lead the accounting workshop next week? A. I'll be on vacation. B. Some training manuals. C. They'll be eating soon. Number 28. Where will this year's trade show take place? A. Yes, I can't wait. B. Here's the brochure. C. Is tomorrow all right? Number 29. Shouldn't I have received shipping confirmation from your company by now? A. Our system's down. B. No thanks, I'm fine. C. He has his certification. Number 30. I have a complaint about yesterday's catering service. A. Appetizers and desserts. B. I'm sorry, what went wrong? C. On the next flight. Number 31. Why were our car sales so low this month? A. We're still looking into that. B. A 50% discount. C. I don't need a new car. Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me. Is this the museum's lost and found room? Yes, it is. What can I do for you? I was in the dinosaur exhibit this morning and I must have dropped my gloves. Did anyone turn them in? They're black leather. No, no one brought in any gloves today. But if you show me the receipt from your visit this morning, I can let you in so you can go and check. They may still be there. That would be great. Thank you so much. Number 32. Where are the speakers? Number 33. What problem does the woman have? Number 34. What does the man ask for? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Good morning, Julia. Allow me to welcome you on your first day at Southridge National Park. We hope you enjoy working here as much as we all do. 
Thanks. I'm excited to get started. Great. I'd like you to meet Molly. She'll be training you today. She's been giving tours of the park for over 20 years. Molly, meet Julia. Hi, Julia. So nice to meet you. Our next tour starts in 15 minutes. We'll be leading a hike to the waterfall. It'll take about two hours. Number 35. Where do the speakers work? Number 36. Who is Julia? Number 37. What will Julia most likely do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for calling Gino's Restaurant. How can I help you? Hello. I was wondering if your restaurant holds private events. I'm planning a party for a colleague who's retiring next month, and I'd like to have the party at Gino's if possible. Our general manager is the person who coordinates private parties, but she's not here right now. I can talk with her when she arrives, and she'll give you a call this afternoon. Okay, but I'm on my way to the airport. I'll be out of the country for the next week and won't be available to speak by phone. Let me give you my email address. Your manager can contact me that way. Number 38. What is the man planning for next month? Number 39. What does the woman say she will do? Number 40. What will the man give to the woman? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Welcome to Pruitt Pharmacy. Hi, I'm here to pick up my medication. My name's Maria Soto. Sure, Miss Soto. And actually... My doctor said I should be able to get two months' worth of the medication today. He wrote that into the prescription. I'll be away on vacation next month, so I won't be able to come in again until I get back. I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Let me ask the head pharmacist. Mr. Pruitt, what's our policy on giving customers two months' worth of medication if they're going on vacation? That's fine, Jason. We're authorized to give two months' worth of medication if the doctor okays it. Number 41. Where does the conversation take place? Number 42. What does the woman say she will do next month? Number 43. Why does Jason talk to Mr. Pruitt? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Schmidt Computers, this is LaShonda. How can I help you? Hi. I'm calling about a notebook computer I ordered from your online store. The website said the package would arrive in three days, but it's nearly been a week. I'm so sorry, but there was a heavy snowstorm last week. We're still trying to catch up on orders. Okay, but I'm going to start a new job from my home, and I really need the computer as quickly as possible. I'm sorry, sir. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I can. Number 44. Who most likely is the woman? Number 45. Why does the woman say, There was a heavy snowstorm last week. Number 46. What does the man say he will do soon? Number 47. 
questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Jisoo, we've only been in business a year, but our appliance manufacturing business is doing well. So far, we've been shipping only to local retail stores, but maybe we should expand our sales area. Good idea. You know, there's a retail chain, Maximum Appliances, that has stores all along the East Coast. I can get in touch with them and see if they're interested. Great. If they are interested, we'd like to get our merchandise out in their stores by the beginning of summer. Okay. I'll get in touch with them right away. Number 47. Which industry do the speakers work in? Number 48. What change is the man proposing? Number 49. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. This is Greenville Document Disposal. How can I help you? Hi. Our office generates a lot of confidential paperwork, and we're looking for a secure way to get rid of it. Your company handles that kind of thing, right? We do. And we send trucks to pick up the documents. Oh, yes. I've seen your trucks. But I'm concerned. Are the bins you provide really secure? Absolutely. All of our 60-gallon bins are fitted with a security seal and an extra lock. And how often do you pick up the bins? We can pick them up daily, weekly, monthly, as often as you'd like. Once a month would be enough for us. Number 50. What does the woman want to do? Number 51. What is the woman concerned about? Number 52. How often does the woman want a service? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm calling from Gradler Industries. Your company finished painting our office conference room last night. The paint job looks fine, but your employee didn't clean up properly. Oh, Roger, the head painter on that job, told me he had to leave early last night. He said he'd be back at your office this morning to take care of it. Well, I do have clients coming in at 11 o'clock. I'll call Roger now and tell him to go to your office right away. Number 53. What is the woman calling about? Number 54. What does the woman imply when she says, I do have clients coming in at 11 o'clock. Number 55. What does the man say he will do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Jessica. I'm really looking forward to the annual attorney seminar next weekend. Me too. It looks like there will be a lot of well-known attorneys presenting. By the way, how are you getting there? I'm taking the train, and actually I have a question. I'd like to get reimbursed for my train ride to the seminar. How does the travel reimbursement process work? There's a short video on the Human Resources website that you should watch. It gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to submit a reimbursement request. Number 56. What type of event will the speakers attend? Number 57. What does the man ask about? Number 58. What does the woman recommend the man do? Number 58. 
Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Jackie, have you seen the newspaper? The article about our new bicycle program for city residents is on the front page. That's great. You know, Alex, working on this project has been the most rewarding thing I've done since I started working for the city government. I agree. And the article explains the program well. It says that the bicycles are free for residents to use as long as they are returned within two hours. There's even a map of pick-up and drop-off locations. I'm so proud of our team. We should celebrate after the city council meeting later today. I'll buy a cake during my lunch break. Number 59. Where do the speakers work? Number 60. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 61. What does the woman suggest doing later today? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and chart. Hi, Idris. Did you go to the game on Saturday night? I did, actually. I can't believe our city soccer team is going to make it to the final playoffs. I know. We're not number one in the league, but second place isn't too bad. And at least we're ahead of Dover. Hey, maybe we could get a group together from the office to go to the game next weekend. I could drive so we don't have to take public transportation. The buses will be packed. That would be great. And remember, they offer a discount when you buy four tickets or more. Oh, that's right. Number 62. Look at the graphic. Which team do the speakers support? Number 63. What does the man offer to do? Number 64. What does the woman remind the man about? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and floor plans. Hi, I need to move to Watertown at the beginning of next month. My company will be relocating here, and they suggested we use your real estate agency. I'd like to rent a two-bedroom apartment. Sure. Here are some of the apartments that are available. Okay. Oh, and I see you have a three-bedroom available? Yes. That one's far from the city centre, but but it's spacious and quite nice. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to spend more than $650 per month. OK. Here's a two-bedroom apartment for $600, well within your price range. I'd like to look at it. Could we visit it sometime this week? I'll check my calendar. Number 65. Why does the woman say she is moving to Watertown? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which apartment is the woman most interested in? Number 67. What will the speakers most likely do next? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and map of a bus route. Hi, it's Minako calling. I'm on the bus headed to the restaurant for the client dinner, but I'm running late. My meeting was longer than I expected. Oh, right, the sales meeting. So, do you know how to get to the restaurant? Well, I just know it's near Cloverfield Park, but I'm not sure how to get to the restaurant from the bus stop. Could you meet me there so I can walk over with you? Sure, how soon? I don't know, but right now we're passing the Wilbur Monument. Oh, so it'll be about 10 minutes. I'll see you soon.
Number 68. Why does the woman say she is late? Number 69. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which bus stop is the woman close to now? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon, Baldwin Supermarket shoppers. We're pleased to announce a brand new service we'll begin offering our customers next month. We know that no matter how busy life gets, you still want to have good food at home. That's why we're introducing online ordering for all your grocery needs. Just go to our website to place your order for vegetables, dairy products, or any items we carry here at Baldwin's, and we'll have your selections ready for you to pick up the same day. Come by the customer service desk for a brochure with all the details. Number 71. Where is the announcement being made? Number 72. What service is going to be offered? Number 73. Why should the listeners go to the customer service desk? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Ms. Farsad, I'm calling from the Everett Inn in response to your inquiry about hotel reservations. We appreciate your interest in staying here during your vacation next month, but a film festival is taking place here that week. We do have another location on Pollard Avenue, though. It's further away from some of the main tourist sites, but close to public transportation. I spoke with the manager there, and she confirmed that they can accommodate you. But I suggest you make reservations soon, since there are only a few rooms left. Number 74. What is the listener trying to do? Number 75. What does the speaker imply when he says... A film festival is taking place here that week. Number 76. What did the speaker do for the listener? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Before we open our doors today, I'd like to have a quick staff meeting. Business in our store has been great. We've been selling a lot of shoes. So I want to remind everyone to keep the boxes in the storage room organized. Be sure to put them back onto the right shelves. Now, I've also got some exciting news to report. For our upcoming sale, the regional manager will be offering bonuses for the top-selling store. If our shoe sales are higher than other store branches, We'll all receive cash rewards, so let's get to work. Number 77. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 78. What does the speaker remind the listeners about? Number 79. 
According to the speaker, what might the listeners receive? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, William. This is Sarah from Dr. Cho's office. I'm calling to confirm your upcoming yearly exam with Dr. Cho next Monday at 4 p.m. And, since you haven't been here in quite some time, you may not be aware that we've just moved offices last month. We're still in the same building, but we're now on the fourth floor. After entering the building, you should walk to the back of the lobby and take the elevator to the fourth floor. See you on Monday. Number 80. Where does the speaker work? Number 81. Why is the speaker calling? Number 82. What does the speaker say happened last month? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following advertisement. Attention truck drivers! Did you know that the Department of Transportation has just announced dozens of new regulations that will affect you as commercial truck drivers? The Clark Institute is offering Internet classes to train you on these new rules. Our online classes allow you to learn whether you're at home or traveling. Just go to newtrucklaws.com to register for classes. Register now and you'll receive a 10% discount on the program fee. But hurry, this special offer ends next week. Number 83. What has a government department recently announced? Number 84. What is being advertised? Number 85. What does the speaker say will happen next week? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following speech. Thanks for joining us at the City of Belmont Community Awards Dinner. Tonight, community members have gathered here to honor a group of artists who were asked to beautify the streets of Belmont. Back in June, after a long selection process, five talented artists were chosen to paint the walls of several buildings around the city. We hoped that this project would draw attention to one of the oldest areas in the city. Well, the murals were completed a month ago, and tourism in the area has doubled. Please welcome our talented artists. Number 86. What type of event is taking place? Number 87. What happened in June? Number 88. What does the speaker imply when she says, Tourism in the area has doubled. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to today's staff meeting. As you know, we've started inviting speakers to our accounting firm once a month for professional development purposes. Our guest speaker today is Dr. Eugene Ray, who will be talking about financial risk management. He will focus on the importance of assessing and managing financial risk within our company. Dr. Ray is an expert in this field, and currently works as the Editor-in-Chief of the Professional Finance Journal. If you'd like to speak with Dr. Ray directly, he'll be joining us for a small reception in the conference room immediately following his speech. Now, let's give Dr. Ray a warm welcome. Number 89. What will Dr. Ray speak about?
Number 90. What is Dr. Ray's current position? Number 91. What will Dr. Ray do after his speech? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Hi everyone. As you know, a lot of customers called yesterday to say they were upset about how long it was taking to fix the widespread outage of our internet service. The internet is up and running again, but the phones are still ringing. Because of this, we're going to offer our customers a free upgrade. The document I'm passing out to you provides more information about this compensation plan, so please take a look at it now and let me know if you have questions. Number 92. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 93. What does the speaker mean when he says, But the phones are still ringing. Number 94. What will the listeners most likely do next? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following broadcast and illustration. It's time for Bake It at Home, where we teach you how to make professional quality baked goods in your own kitchen. Today we'll show you how to make a surprisingly tasty cake with a packaged cake mix and a can of soda. That's right, you can simply combine your favourite cake mix right out of the box with a soft drink to create flavourful cakes, just like these we baked in our studio kitchen. And don't be afraid to create your own combinations. I substituted orange soda for the cherry soda and it was delicious. We'd love to hear about your favourite combinations, so upload photos of your creations to our website. Number 95. Who is the intended audience for the broadcast? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which cake recipe did the speaker change? Number 97. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and event schedule. Okay, let's get started with today's staff meeting. I'm very excited for next month's book convention, which we'll be hosting right here at the T&J Publishing Headquarters. I'm passing around the list of events taking place on the first day. You may be interested in the nonfiction author panel at 11 a.m., since we recently published books by several of the speakers. Also, please remember to keep your schedule clear at 3 p.m., because everyone will need to participate in that session. Now, there's one last thing that we have yet to confirm. The refreshments we'll be serving. Are there any suggestions for which catering company to use? Number 98. Where is the talk most likely taking place? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which session are the listeners required to attend? Number 100. What still needs to be confirmed? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book. End of recording.